Yo, what's up guys? This is Midnight Webbit and welcome back to some more Destiny. And today I got some news for you guys that we found out yesterday. Some of you may have heard, some of you may have not have. So for those of you who have not heard, I'm going to tell you all about it. Um, Bungie has announced the official release date for House of Wolves DLC. It's going to be May 19th of this year. So, uh, about one month out, guys. So, just hang in there. Um, the big thing that I want to talk about today is the fact that there is, it's confirmed that there is no raid. In the, new, in the House of Wolves DLC. There is no raid. They're not having a raid activity in the House of Wolves. Now, don't before you click off the video or anything, like a lot of people are gonna be like really upset and stuff. Before you click off of the video, I was upset at first until I realized like what they meant by this. They're replacing the raid with a co-op based horde mode type thing, which is gonna be, it took me a while to figure this out, but I think this is gonna be a lot like Firefight from Halo, where, except in Destiny, it's gonna be like, like Firefight mode, it's called Prison of Elders, and if you remember the Winter's Run strike on Venus that mentions the Prison of Elders and stuff, so I'm guessing that's gonna, that's probably where the, because uh, the whole premise behind House of Wolves is that they're they're uh, rebelling against the Queen, so I'm guessing they probably break some, get some like, some Archon Priests and stuff out of, the, out of the Prison of Elders, and that's probably what you're trying to prevent, is them from breaking out, you're probably trying to see how many ways you can survive. Um, it's a three to four player co-op, survival horde mode based and that's basically all the, they've all they've told us for right now it's called prison of elders they haven't told us anything else about it but um i'm actually kind of excited i'm, I'm kind of disappointed there's not a raid but i'm also kind of excited for it and there is a reason for they're not just doing a raid because because they uh they're they're being lazy or something they ran out of ideas and I'm, I'm going to read this. This is actually a uh, word for word. This is a quote from Bungie. We didn't make this decision lightly. Our team has been humbled by the reception of raids in Destiny, and we are creating a new raid for release later this year. So it is confirmed that they are creating a new raid for some point later in the late summer, early fall. And it's going to be, from what I've heard, it's going to be, from several sources, it's going to be a massive add-on, like bigger than D D Dark Below and House of Wolves put together, possibly, in terms of content. So it's going to be a massive amount of content, and it's just that's going to be it's going to be crazy. Um, they're going to have a, a massive new raid with stuff like that, and they're uh, they're taking their time with that because they want to address. There's some people who have had some concerns about raids, and they want to address all of those and make it the best they possibly can. They didn't want to rush it and just push out a crappy raid with. Uh, it's like uh, that's like not really that's not really different. It doesn't really have anything new uh, with uh, House of Wolves, so they wanted to take their time and make a good one and release that later this year and they're using the phrase they're using the phrase battle arena to describe prison of elders um, and like I said I feel like in my opinion I feel like this is going to be a firefight type thing like if you guys have ever played Halo like firefight mode combined with Call of Duty Zombies kind of which if any of you have been part of my channel for a long time you know I love zombies so I'm actually pretty excited for this I love these kind of game modes um, and this game still does have a little bit of a Halo feel to it because you know it is it is Bungie that made it and it kind of uh, just the way it works and stuff feels a little bit like Halo. Um, so I'm, I am kind of excited for that. I think it might be kind of cool. Um, we'll have to see how this works out. But anyway, hopefully you guys um, are as excited for this as I am. I'm, I'm pretty uh, pretty excited for uh, House of Wolves. And um, oh yeah, there's a couple other things I want to talk to you guys about. Besides that, um, Bungie released this picture. And I almost fell on the floor and shit my pants simultaneously because um, for those of you, there's a couple people that have subscribed to my channel that I, I'm friends with and I play with, I play Destiny with. For those of you who do not play Destiny with me or do not really talk to me, um, there's three things you need to know about me when it comes to Destiny. Number one, the Fatebringer is my favorite gun in the game. So from what it appears here, it looks like they're, they're providing an increase in uh, for the damage of raid weapons, of earlier raid weapons from, from uh, Vault of Glass and I'm guessing Crota's End as well um, for for the new DLC, we'll get to that in a second. So the three things you need to know about me, a fate bringer is my favorite gun in the game. Number two, I have every single exotic weapon in the game, and I do not have the hunger of Crota. I, that doesn't make sense to me. It's not even that rare of a drop. It's kind of pissing me off now. I do it three times a week with my friend, every week for like the past two and a half months, and he gets it like once or twice a week, and it makes me really, really mad because I still have not gotten it once. So that's kind of stupid. And number three, Reaver captains hate me. And I don't mean like they just, I don't. I hate them. I mean, they hate me. They actively hunt me, and they ignore other players. They they actively go around other players to get to me. So this new DLC, uh, that's the only thing with the firefight mode. I'm a little bit worried about is the Reaver captains because they really don't like me. Like, I promise you, they. Um, 
which I wish I had like I wish I had recorded like some of the times when this happened. But if I'm playing with friends and stuff, like uh, especially the Omnigal Strike, those two ones in the first room, they they run past all of my friends and stuff, like push them out of the way to get to me every time. They absolutely hate me. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, it looks like they're providing an increase in raid weapons, and this is not a this is not photoshopped. I'm, I mean, well, it probably is Photoshop, but I mean, this was re officially, this was released by Bungie. Bungie released this photo. So um, this basically means that they're increasing the damage to 365 on all the guns, I'm assuming. And they're allowing you to increase the damage on the raid weapons as well, which means the Black Hammer is getting increased. Hunger of Proto, the Fatebringer, the Vision of Confluence, Atheon's Epilogue, um, Light of the Abyss, all that, all that stuff. The, uh, what's it called? Abyss Defiant. Fang of Iryu, Word of Crota, all that, all of the, all of those good, good guns. A lot of people are, that a lot of people use. Uh, they're very, very good guns. Most of them. Um, it looks like those are going to still be viable weapons to use in, um, in the new DLC. And I'm assuming they're not increasing the raid armor. Or, well, they might. I'm actually not even sure. I don't know if them increasing the damage of these raid weapons means they're not adding new raid weapons. Like, I know there's not going to be a raid, but I'm thinking there's got to be some kind of... It's a raid-level activity, the uh, Prison of Elders uh, co-op horde mode. So I'm thinking there's going to be some kind of decent rewards for it, like either, like, exotics or, like, kind of, like, maybe not, not as good as, like, Nightfall-style rewards, but, like, maybe, like, depending on what level you get to, depending on, like, how many waves you survive, maybe it increases your loot drop chances, I'm guessing. That might be, that might be a good way to do it. Um... I'm not sure, but anyway, so I thought that was pretty cool. They are releasing some new raid weapon, not new raid weapon. They're releasing uh, the same raid weapons, but they're letting you increase the damage of them. And they have not talked about um, within the past, the next few weeks, they're going to explain how your legendary and exotic gear will be upgraded, as well as Prison of Elders and then the Trial of Osiris, which are both described as brand new additions to Destiny's endgame activities. So. I don't try this of Osiris from what I've heard. I may be completely wrong, but I've heard, I believe that it is a 3v3 PV, like player versus player uh, type clash thing. I think it's like, I'm not sure if it's like an Iron Banner type event or it like, um, or if it's actually like an arena where you have six people and you go into it's like kind of like basically like a private match with you and your friends doing it like and the winning team gets... I'm not sure how it works exactly, but we'll have to see. They're going to be releasing more information about that, how to upgrade stuff, and uh, more details about the arena, uh, the Prison of Elders and whatnot, in, within the next few weeks. I think they're, I believe they're having like a video of like press conferences like every Wednesday for the next three weeks. So it'll be tomorrow, then a week from then, and then another week from then. They're going to have um, press conferences. So... I will bring you guys updates as I find them out. Uh, you guys are welcome to obviously go off on your own and look them up and stuff. But if you guys, uh, this is my channel. Should, my channel will be a relatively uh, consistent way for you guys to find that stuff out. Um, so I'm, I'm definitely, I am definitely going to be. I'll show you guys that as soon as I find out about it. As soon as they release it to, to the media, you guys will be the first to know. You guys will be the first people I tell. So anyway, hopefully you guys did enjoy this. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Subscribe if you're not already for more Destiny, Borderlands uh, content, tips and tricks. Uh, I've played through stuff like that. Um, I'm going to have some, uh, within the next month or so, I'm going to have some, doing some other games as well that I've been wanting to do for a long time that I haven't either haven't done in a while or haven't actually gotten a chance to getting around to, gotten around to doing yet. But um, anyway, yeah, that's basically it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy, like I said. Uh, May 19th, House of Wolves hits Destiny, so get hyped, guys. Uh, I think, I know, th I know there's no raid, but I really, really think that this is going to be, I think this is going to be pretty cool. I, I know there's no raid, a lot of people are disappointed about that, they're kind of upset, but I think this firefight type thing, if done well, can be very, very, can, can be really, really cool. And the reason that people are saying they're getting bored of Destiny is because it's uh, the same stuff over and over again. Well, a new raid is not going is going to get old really, really fast because people are, people like know what like the structure of raids. So they basically know like they know different like you have to stand on certain things sometimes to activate stuff. And so I mean, they, they, even if they add new mechanics, it's gonna it's not gonna take as long as it did for the first two uh, for it to become old. So this 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 is a way for them to add something new, and then they're gonna come back to the raid later and we'll be excited because we'll be coming back to the raid and like be like nostalgic and stuff later on in the year. So, uh, hopefully you guys are excited, and, I, and it's also I'll bring you guys new details on that that massive up that massive add-on with the, the new raid and everything as soon as I find out more about that. I don't think they're, I don't know if they're releasing details about that in these press conferences. I think this is mainly about House of Wolves, but we'll have to see. 
Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoy, and I will talk to you guys later on today with uh, my live weekly Nightfall Strike uh, how to solo it live tutorial. So I will leave a link to this video in the description of that, and I will leave a link to that video in the description of this one once I upload it. So definitely check that out if you guys need to know how to do the Nightfall for this week. Get some, get some of those last exotics you guys are needing before House of Wolves comes out, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. It's like the longest, most drawn-out outro of all time. Like, it's ridiculous. I'm just, I am a terrible commentator. But you know what? Who cares?